Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to try to get out here in the gardens. We made a video the other day after the kids had been here for the 4th of July and we kind of rushed through it a little bit. Didn't really catch everything we wanted to catch, so hang around till after the video. We'll get out here, see what we missed. Okay guys, before we get too tied up out here in the gardens, we had some baby chuckers born the other day. And if you're not familiar with chuckers, they're a little bit bigger than a quail and a little bit smaller than a pheasant. So you can you can look those up yourselves, but I'm gonna put up a, a little clip here of uh, some of the baby chuckers. Tina went downstairs, got us some clips. So I'll throw one up here real quick. We'll take a look at it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, those are the little babies, and we're glad to have them here on the homestead. It'll be a nice little addition. I'm going to be building some pens for them later on in the summer, so um, you guys can come by and check that out if you want to know how to do that, or we may even build some new pens for the quail. So uh, you guys hang around in, later in the year. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see about doing some project work, but for right now, we're going to get out here, take a look around in the gardens, and uh, we'll see what we missed the other day on the video. All right, guys, we'll start out here by the end of the driveway, and I'm just going to ease over here real quick. Take a look, that's up the side of the house there towards the road. But something I wanted to show you right here at the base of our back steps, we got a mama robin. She's in her nest there, and I'm, oh, I'm five feet away from her or so. They're pretty cool with us being around. I can see her blue eggs in there underneath her. But she's sitting right there in the base of the tree but it's just being real easy so we're going to slide on back out of here and leave her be i thought you might enjoy seeing a little mama robin sitting on her nest all right guys we're over here at the main garden and it looks a lot different the potato buckets are gone you saw us harvest those the other day we've uh, chopped and dropped the entire sea of beans we got uh, 49 quarts of beans mixed green and yellow beans out of there but uh, we chopped and dropped it. We probably could have got another picking, but we're getting set up for fall planting. We have left our pepper plants in here. We're gonna let these go ahead and run. They're still producing really well. We got our jalapenos here, and they've got a we got some nice peppers hanging on them. We got our red peppers over there. I'm sure you can see that standing out against the green foliage. But we pulled out the cabbage and the broccoli down through here and uh, well we didn't pull them out we just chopped and dropped them right back into the soil so we've let this dry out today i'll probably get on it this evening and till that back in but wanted to give you a look at it and we'll go uh, see what else we can find here all right guys so we'd stop over here at the blue lace red wine dots we uh the cabbage went into the house we made that into sauerkraut if you haven't been by our uh Facebook page you're welcome to stop by over there but uh, we turned the cabbage into uh, two five gallon crocks of sauerkraut that's about uh, 40 quarts so uh, um, they uh, extra cabbage and stuff we brought out here and uh, give it to the chickens they're enjoying it let's see the Aom Samani's over there they're enjoying it too we can zoom in on them not very good at this whole zoom game but they got them some over there. They're enjoying it too, but we're gonna take a look at the raised bed garden here. So let me bring you back. All right, guys, we're here by the cherry tomatoes and you haven't seen them in a while, but they are loaded up with uh, tomatoes down in there. They're loaded all through there. So we need to get to picking on some of these. We'll put some up for uh, making sauce with but we'll also use a lot of the cherry tomatoes go into the salads and stuff through the year so they're kind of the eaten tomatoes and we've got a bunch of sauce tomatoes but we'll jump across the arch here there's another that is a baby plant off of the parent cherry tomato there but uh that's a little baby clone 
And then we planted these Roma tomatoes in here. I think the last time you saw these tomatoes, they were about four inches tall. Now they are, oh, good halfway up the stake anyway. But uh, they're getting ready. They're starting to put on some of their little uh, Roma tomatoes there. But uh, we're looking forward to having these here. We'll add those to the sauce. Guys, we'll just come right on into the garden here and uh, we'll get greeted by some nice green bell peppers. Some good looking peppers down through there. Plants all seem to have some on them. So they're doing really, really well. We're getting uh, getting ready here. The ground cherries are, uh, or the husk cherries, whatever you want to call them. We call them ground cherries. But the husk cherries are uh, starting to put on their little cherries for the year. The watermelon have broken out the other side over there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the watermelon and muskmelon are getting ready to go over there. And guys, we have a ton of tomatoes ripening in this little bed here. They have fallen over and taken the plants with them. So we're gonna get these picked off and get some of the weight off of them and get these propped up and tied. But there's a lot of tomatoes down through there. We're gonna make use of them. Thought we'd give you a look. All right, guys, we're still in the raised bed garden here. I would take a look. There's some uh, purple Islander peppers. They're just a purple bell pepper. Back out through here, we got some uh, yellow onions. We also got a few weeds there. This was to take care of that. But these are our red onions, and they seem to come with a few weeds too. So, guys, we have weeds grow here just like everybody else. We like to pull them and dress things up for the videos when we can, but. Guys, the reality is, is we, we grow weeds here too. So don't feel bad if your garden's got weeds in it. Ours doesn't always look pristine. We, uh, we get all kinds of little weeds down through there. So that'll probably take an afternoon to get all those out of there. But uh, you'll see it cleaned up again too at some point. Uh, these, little, uh, these little tomato plants here, they were about four inches tall last time you saw them too. These are growing right here where we grew the peas if you guys remember the peas being planted in here but the pea hoops are still in there and the tomato plants are taller than the hoops now those hoops are i'll say 18 to 20 inches tall so tomatoes are coming out they're starting to run up above it so time to start tying them back to the hoop and we'll tie them over here to the trellis but we'll just come right on here these are the tomatoes and more sun and guys those tomato plants are identical and we're planted at the same time so the more sun you can throw at a tomato plant the better but uh, those other ones get enough they're flowering and producing too so won't be as big a production but we'll be glad to have it these here are the snacker onions in the snacker onion bed they are doing really well and uh, they're getting big too they're uh, well the onions aren't real big the tops are getting big but we'll wait for those onions to bulb out. We'll go ahead and take those out. Hey, we got some more uh, pepper plants over here. We're gonna be planting these uh, end beds here, replanting those for fall. So nothing really left in there to show. Got some uh, hot peppers here. Got some more bell peppers here. They're, uh, they're loaded down like the others. And we got some uh, onions here around the exterior of the box. But, uh, Got plenty of bell peppers forming up in there. Glad to have them. They're uh, they're wanting about a buck a piece for them at the store, so can't really lose growing bell peppers. We got the beets back over here. Beets are looking good. They got a few little weeds coming up through them, but uh, nothing too intense. They are getting about ready to harvest, so won't be too long. Be looking for a beet harvest, and then we'll probably uh, pickle some beets. So we'll probably have a recipe on that. We're getting ready to pull these broccoli out of here. They're, uh, they're obviously eat up with the bugs. And uh, we have onions planted all down through them. So we'll pull the broccoli plants out of the way. We were afraid this would happen. So we went ahead and planted the onions up underneath them. We'll go ahead and get those plants out of there and let the, let the onions come on up through. Hey, I'm gonna show you that nice yellow dill there. Those are some giant dill heads. But we got some more tomatoes going on down here in this box and some more on across over here in this one but that'll about wrap up the the raised bed garden for this uh this run anyway we'll uh 
bring you back when we got something more exciting to show you. But for right now, these guys are still just growing, getting ready to start picking off some serious amounts of peppers. All four center boxes of our uh, of our uh, raised bed garden. These two here, sorry, swing you real quick. And the two back there in the center are all bell peppers. So we'll have plenty of bell peppers for making sauce and we've got plenty of tomatoes planted. So it should be a good year and uh, plenty of onions. And we got some basil over on the other side. I think I've shown you that. So we got about all the fixings for a real good sauce and most of it will come right out of our garden. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna pick you back up here at the sweet corn. But uh, as you can see, the ears are starting to develop really well. And they're starting to swell up. We had uh, fertilized that one last time when they started to tassel. And uh, that really helps give them one last boost to put into forming those ears. And like, uh, like you see here, that also gives them enough juice to do the double ear. So we're, uh, we're glad to have them. They're doing really, really well. We're gonna have, oh, I'd say around 600 ears. We usually shoot for a thousand but we gave up some room on the front here to grow the squash and we gave up some room on the back to grow the gourds so we also gave up the end of the patch which i wanted to show you there's the top of the sweet corn i'm six feet tall that corn's got to be oh it's at least seven foot tall it's at least a foot taller than i am but when you get down here to the project corn you got to look up 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 that corn is three or four feet taller than the sweet corn that puts it up around 11 or 12 feet so we showed you the south american corn over there that was probably uh it's probably closer to 16 foot but uh this corn here is easily 12 foot high so we're glad to have it and if you don't know what we're doing with the hybrid corn it's just a it's a field corn that we're developing um we want it to be able to grind it for uh corn flour or grits or use it as a feed for our animals we're trying to make a kind of an all-purpose corn that's uh really suitable for growing in our area at least we'll uh we'll probably eventually send some out to other people and have them grow it in their area but we're trying to develop a corn that's a you know just a good all-around corn that we could use for corn meal or, or grits or or uh just a feed for the animals if we needed to but we want something we can count on so we're uh, working hard on it. We're hoping it uh, hoping it does real well. It has in the past years as we've been developing it. But there's probably uh, there are at least 20 types of organic heirloom corn in there. Um, some of the strains we used were hundreds of years old. So the South American corn that we're raising over in the other garden is a, a type of maize that they grow in South America. Actually, there's a couple different types in there, but uh, they're heirloom also. So. We shouldn't have too much trouble. All we gotta do is get them hybridized and then uh, then we'll mix them back and forth together and uh, until it starts to yield a more consistent result. So once we get a consistent result, then we'll uh, we'll screen it down and uh, we'll start looking for different traits. You know, good, good tip fill, big kernels, the things that we're looking for in our corn. So, but first we need to get it all hybridized. And uh, once we do that, we'll look for some slightly more consistent results and then we'll start tuning it for its individual features. So that's kind of the hybrid corn project in a nutshell. We'll get on around here, see what else we can find to look at.
right, guys, that's about going to wrap it up for today's video. We enjoyed having you guys come by the homestead. I hope that filled in some of the holes we left in the video the other day. Sorry we didn't get to everything, but uh, it's hard, you know, to do an all-around walkthrough without uh, making an hour-long video. So we're going to try to focus on a little bit shorter videos and uh, just kind of break it up some. But we uh, hopefully filled in some of the holes. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment down below. We sure appreciate it when you guys do that. If you would, uh, say hello or, or ask any gardening questions you might have. Just leave those down in the comments. We try to answer everybody's comments. So, um, And it tells YouTube that um, people are watching and engaging with the video, and that really helps us out because it shows the videos to more people. So we really appreciate it when you guys do that. Hit that thumbs up. Leave those comments. But if you like the content here on the channel and you're not subscribed, we hope you will. And down next to the subscribe button is a bell. If you ring that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release new videos. And guys, if you've rang that bell on, in the past, why don't you go ahead and ring it again and uh, make sure that you have it set for all notifications. That'll send you notifications whenever we release a new video. Guys, that's a great way to keep up with the channel. So we really appreciate you coming by the homestead. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll catch you in the next one.